Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Today is the 3rd of December. So let us look behind the third door of our Advent calendar. Micah chapter 5 verse 2 says, But you Bethlehem, Ephraim, being small among the clans of Judah, out of you one will come out to me that is to be the ruler in Israel. His goings out are from mode, from ancient times. Well, this clearly seems to be a prophecy about a baby. As far as I am aware, nobody can choose the place that they themselves are born. So let us see tomorrow if this prophecy was fulfilled by Jesus. It's Numbers chapter 18 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers chapter 18 Yahweh said to him, You and your sons and your father's house with you shall bear the burden of the sanctuary, and you and your sons with you shall bear the burden of your priesthood. Bring your brothers also, the tribe of Levi, the tribe of your father, near with you, so that they may rejoin to you and minister to you, but you and your sons with you shall be before the tent of the testimony. They shall keep your commands and the duty of the whole tent. Only they shall not come near to the vessels of the sanctuary and to the altar, that they not die, neither they nor you. They shall be joined to you and keep the responsibility of the tent of meeting. For all the service of the tent, a stranger shall not come near to you. You shall perform the duty of the sanctuary and the duty of the altar, that there be no more wrath on the children of Israel. Look, I myself have taken your brothers the Levites from among the children of Israel. They are a gift to you, dedicated to Yahweh to do the service of the tent of meeting. You and your sons with you shall keep your priesthood, for everything of the altar, and for that within the veil, you shall serve. I give you the service of the priesthood as a gift. The stranger who comes there shall be put to death. You always spoke to Aaron, Look, I myself have given you the command of my wave offerings, even all the holy things of the children of Israel. I have given them to you by reason of the anointing, and to your sons as a portion forever. This shall be yours, and the most holy things from the fire, every offering of theirs, even every meal offering of theirs, and every sin offering of theirs, and every guilt offering of theirs, which they shall render to me, shall be most holy for you, and for your sons. You shall eat of it, like the most holy things. Every male shall eat of it, it shall be holy to you. This is yours too, the wave offering of their gift, even all the wave offerings of the children of Israel, I have given them to you, and to your sons, and to your daughters with you, as a portion forever. Everyone who is clean in your house shall eat of it. I have given to you all the best of the oil, and all the best of the vintage, and of the grain, the first fruits of them, which they give to Yahweh. The first ripe fruits of all that is in their land, which they bring to Yahweh, shall be yours. Everyone who is clean in your house shall eat of it. Every devoted thing in Israel shall be yours. Everything that opens the womb of all flesh which they offer to Yahweh, both of man and animal, shall be yours. Nevertheless, you shall surely redeem the firstborn of man, and shall redeem the firstborn of unclean animals. You shall redeem those who are to be redeemed, or them for a monthfold, according to your estimation, for five shekels of silver, after the shekel of the sanctuary, which weighs twenty gehars. But you shall not redeem the firstborn of a cow, or the firstborn of a sheep, or the firstborn of a goat. They are holy. You shall sprinkle their blood on the altar, and shall burn the fat for an offering made by fire. For a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. Their meat shall be yours, as the wave offering breasts, and as the right thigh. It shall be yours. All the wave offerings are the holy things which the children of Israel offer to Yahweh. I have given you, and your sons and your daughters with you, as a portion forever. It is an agreement of salt forever before Yahweh to you, and to your offspring with you. Yahweh said to Aaron, You shall have no inheritance in their land, neither shall you have any portion among them. I am your portion, and your inheritance among the children of Israel. To the children of Levi, look, I have given all the tithe in Israel for an inheritance, in return for their service which they serve, even the service of the tent of meeting. Henceforth the children of Israel shall not come near the tent of meeting, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levites shall do the service at the tent of meeting, and they shall bear their burden. 
It shall be a law forever throughout your generations. Among the children of Israel, they shall have no inheritance. For the time of the children of Israel, which they offer as a wave offering to Yahweh, I have given to the Levites for an inheritance. Therefore I have said to them, Among the children of Israel, they shall have no inheritance. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Moreover, you shall speak to the Levites and tell them, When you take of the children of Israel, the time which I have given you from them for your inheritance, then you shall offer up a wave offering of it for Yahweh, a time of the time. Your wave offering shall be credited to you, as though it were the grain of the threshing floor, and as the fullness of the wine press. Thus you also shall offer a wave offering to Yahweh of all your times, which you receive of the children of Israel. And of it you shall give Yahweh's wave offering to Aaron the priest. And of all your gifts you shall offer every wave offering of Yahweh, of all its best, even the holy part of it out of it. Therefore you shall tell them, when you heave its best from it, then it shall be credited to the Levites, as the increase of the threshing floor, and as the increase of the wine press. You may, <coughs> you may eat it anywhere, you and your household, for it is your reward in return for your service in the tent of meeting. You shall bear no sin by reason of it. When you have heaved it from its best, you shall not profane the holy things of the children of Israel, so that you not die.